video I'll show you how will you integrate isoto plugin in your web page so I'm opening my Google Chrome I'm searching isoto okay going to be fast result in your case as well so this is their home page if I go to the filtering sorry filtering they have filtering option if I go to the shorting they have shorting option as well I mean ascending descending based on name such kind of things so I'm going to integrate those isoto plugin in my web page so first I have to download this isoto plugin so I'm downloading by save linkage say so I'm downloading in my desktop I'm minimizing this thing and create a folder say folder name will be I so tough. I'm keeping this this file inside the isotope. Now I'm opening my Sublime editor. I'm opening this project. Okay, that's all. So this is the isotope. So I'm making a file, say index.html. So I'm copying the bootstrap starter template from the bootstrap website getting started and this is bootstrap starter template I'm pasting here now I will link the isotope in my HTML page so isotope is added now we will go to the isotope website and how they integrate those things they actually telling me they initialize using this thing grid to isotope and first they asking me to adding their js file into my html so i already did that part and getting started this is their html part there will be the grid inside grid there will be the grid item i mean grid actually the parent item where isotope will be initialized if I see here this is the initialization okay so so I made a bootstrap container inside container there will be grid and under grid there will be some grid item grid say create item flower flower will be say rose so I am coughing lot of line here so rose rose will be flower say might be there will be some part there will be some what could be say fruit flower bird flower fruit bird fruit so say bird will be parrot say one fruit say banana and flower could be tulip Support sparrow. Rose tulip. Say Mary Gold. G U L D. Okay. Say one another food orange. Another bird could be say old. Okay, I think this thing is enough. So if I take a look in the um, opening this index.html in my browser, so this is the look, current look. So I am putting some style for that. So this is my style, 
that is actually the greed item greed item so the telling for the initial style 25 percent we will be 25 percent so 25 percent in our case we are also using with 25 percent i mean in one row there should be two grid okay so i'm giving the different color for the different things like flower bird and fruit so one is flower another is bird and another one is fruit okay so for say this flower background color should be till bird background color say salmon and fruit background color okay till salmon say tomato and the grid item it should say padding 10 margin also 10 pixel so if i look my website now it's currently look like that okay my big color what will be good for this darker background now it is look like this so i am going to initialize this i sort of plugin PT script under a script first select out the grid where we will initialize I sort of okay so the parameter will be item selector and layout mode item selector will be the grid item in our case also it will be the grid item layout mode is fit rows so I'm copying this whole thing and pasting here so creating okay if I look to my website currently now this is look like that I think now it's look pretty, pretty decent okay so this is the first part our we implemented the I sort of in our website the, the second thing is filtering so this is filter so for the filtering they are asking there with the filter with the name of the class so say i'm saving this initialization in the grid variable bar grid equal this thing okay so grid dot i sort of filter say in your case foot So currently it's only showing fruit. So if I give say bar is show only the bar. So filtering also working. So we will give some button in the top and based on click we will actually change the filter. Say under container and make a class filter. There will be a lot of button. Button with a say that will be the first will be all then will be say food flower bird so that will be look like that so might be some bootstrap we will use some bootstrap classes cl CLSS class will be button button some bootstrap button class okay so now it's look decent so initially it shouldn't be filtered so think is actually whenever someone click on fruit it should be triggered this thing so first I will give some data type I mean data attribute HTML5 data attribute 
say is starter name will be say star since it's all then data name equal in our case it will be the fruit and second case it will be the flower and third case it will be the bird okay so I'm making a event I will trigger an event whenever someone click on the button so um, listen to listen to part one which is nested by dot filter class and someone click on it we actually first need to get the value this editor data name console dot low then so I'm opening my console here for checking so when someone click on all the value is done so when someone click on fruit value is fruit when someone click on flower value is flower click on bar value is dot bar okay so this is the thing actually should be changed so i'm copying this filter thing and pasting here so instead of our hard coding this fruit that will be the filter this value so if i go there and click on fruit okay uncode references value is not defined Okay, this will this is only will this is the value actually I keep variable name will so if I click on bar only bar when I click on flower it's showing only flower when I click on fruit only fruit for all it will actually showing the everything okay so this is our filtering part and the next one is the shorting part say I am keep a headline for this filter filter so another could be sh say shorting short h1 shorting say we want to short by name of this element I and mean, it will be alphabetical so for the short we will make a button class will be same say button button primary bush up is about eight color so that will be for name then another will be for the original another will be for say random so same here for the name button dot name will be name data name will be original order this is actually I am getting from their shorting things if I go to the shorting they have a documentation for there so this is that documentation short by category with number this is kind of user defined but they have some the built in original order and random so only user defined is here is name so we actually have to define those things using this get short data attribute okay so we initialize here there was two things now another things come up get short data so first one was our name so say every time there will be element so when element dot okay, we can get value by text this is the jquery function using text function i can access the text inside of any html document 
HTML tag. So I'm keeping those thing. Okay, I'm, I actually I will return those thing. So that will be the name. I see this thing currently shorting if I click on name nothing will be happen because I didn't assign anything to it so I'm checking my shorting whether working or not same here free dot isoto what is this name for shorting short by say so short by name So currently rose was the first. If I click on banana is the first. I mean my shorting is working fine. Now I have to actually same thing. I will listen to the on click handler. So that will be the short button dot on click function. So when somewhere click here, same here, I'll get the value bar value equal this editor data hyphen name so I am checking whether this thing correct or not if I click here name value is name original order and random oops for the random it's became undefined I didn't put any data name for that. Data name random. So that was primary say I add like the ART dark. So if I click on random, it's random for original. Okay, light is not looking good. Say info. So name, original, random. So my value is actually extract from the HTML. So I'm copying whole thing and pasting here. So instead of the our this hard coded name, there will be the value. Okay. So if I go to my web page and reload again. So this is all, this is fruit, I can shorting by name, this is original, in both cases is same, for the all suppose, name will be this, and that is the original, this is the name, and this is the random order, and suppose flower, medical rose tulip, if I short by name, okay, it's already shorted for the bard, how about bard, okay, this is the original, this is name, fruit, is original currently if I short by name for all I can short by name and original this is the original loop I can short by name I think that's all so I actually I will upload this working file I mean this same file into my github repo and I will add link in the bottom of this YouTube video thank you when I open my this file I actually I can't understand which thing actually active so currently I know the all thing is active and the original thing is active I mean in case of filtering all is active in case of shorting original is active so this is the reason I actually I should put some indication so, um, so in case of all suppose it should be active and for the original it, it also should be active it's a kind of bootstrap helper class if you give active that will give some indication okay so all is active original is active so our next task will be when someone click on fruit fruit will be active but this all shouldn't be active suppose currently I click on flower so flower should be active and all shouldn't be active 
flower should be active but all shouldn't be active okay so when i click on fruit it actually trigger this function i mean when i click on filter button so what i'll do inside the filter button anything inside the filter button i will remove class remove class active only only for this button i will add class active so for shorting also same rule will be applied here testing here so instead of short it will be short In, instead of filter okay yes instead of filter there will be short i am reload this page again currently selected all and original if i click on fruit it actually remove the active class from the all and is added those active class in the fruit same also here so i already click on name so name is active if you click on original this original i mean in in both cases it actually the alphabetical if you click on original so all and original is active i can shorting through the name original and random that's all thank you